What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with episode 12 of the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last really long episode, we made our way through Eternal Forest with the help of Cheryl, who auto-healed us after every battle, which was good because they're all doubles, and uh, of course we actually managed to level up some of our Pokemon, and we made our way here to the north version of Route 205, which I, on a technicality, considered a new area like most people do with uh, the same route being on two different sides of a forest like with Pelberg Woods and Hoenn, and uh, we actually caught a Beautifly, which we named Weevil. Didn't actually get a chance to check you before the uh, end of the episode. Lax nature, you have Swarm, you just have Absorb and Gust. Great. But, uh, anyway, now we're on North Route 205, we're gonna... Hopefully... I was about to say, I figured at least one of these fucking fishers would be a Pokemon trainer, so... Anyway. As long as we're talking about fishers, uh, random question of the day. Have you ever been fishing? I've only been fishing a couple times in my life. I think it was, um, whoops, I got Gargano out here for the Switch train. We got Switch to Rich One. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think I've only been fishing at, um, summer camp, like, once or twice ever. Um, don't remember really enjoying it that much, but it, it was pretty relaxing, I guess. You know, I can't really complain about it. Just not really my scene. Getting confused by the Skuldine, though. That That is also not my scene. Tell you what is my scene, though. Hitting you with a spark. Also, I just realized you're level 17, so... Alright, good. We paralyzed it. And full para. Exactly. Good. Don't hurt yourself, Rich. Good. Nice. Hopefully Rich One levels up from this. Almost. Alright, how about either of you dudes? Yep. At least this one is. If all three of these oh god, this could be the this could be the fucking six magic harp guy. God damn it. Alright. Well, on the plus side, Gargano can handle this by himself, I think. I would like to think. Well, these magic cards are just gonna do a splash, you know what I mean? But yeah, if all the other fishermen on this bridge are gonna be, uh, like, battling fishermen, then I'm almost wondering why the hell, um, the first one wasn't. Seems like a weird design decision. Also, this Magikarp's level 16, so it might actually, you know, tackle. Um, yeah, it's doing nothing. Alright, well, the tackles are still doing nothing because Magikarp's physical attack is garbage. So, let's just play it safe, though. Get Rich Swan in here, hit it with a spark, bing, bang, boom. Rich Swan levels up, it's all good. You know, I think we'll just have Rich Swan just handle the rest of the Magikarps. Because Gargano's not going to get a lot of experience from from any of them, honestly. Look, he got 33 from a level 16 fucking Magikarp. It's not even worth the Switch training at this point. And there we go. Rich Wanda was up to level 16. Excellent. Yep, three more Magikarps. Uh, alright, come on. Come on. There you go. There's always gotta be one. There's always gotta be one of these fucking six Magikarp guys. For these just really tedious fucking battles, where all they have is Magikarp and they do nothing. Seriously, there's always gotta be one of these guys. I'm getting almost nothing in experience from them, it's kinda ridiculous. Ooh, this one's level 14, maybe I'll get 60 experience now. Uh, 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Well, I got exactly 60 experience. I call that on the dot. Go figure. As long well, as it's slightly tougher than a magic card, I'm all about it. Let's let's go. Let's have an actual battle, friend. He's got three mons. And Magikarp. Okay, clearly you and I have different definitions of tough Pokemon. Sir. Let's get Weevil out here because Weevil knows Absorb. Should be able to handle this. Almost gonna kill. The only reason that didn't kill is because it was uh, wasn't stab. It's literally the only reason I think. Because again, Magikarp, uh, not great. As driven home by every Pokedex entry ever, except for the one where it said it could splash over a mountain. But uh, it's about the only thing Magikarp has going for it before it evolves. All right, Goldeen. All right. So they can actually fight back. I don't know what I'm complaining about was essentially free experience, except for the fact that it's so very little. It wouldn't even be worth the, the grind of it. I think that's the problem. So the experience yield from Magikarp is even worth how easy it is. You know? Why would you use Water Sport? What the fuck? Who the fuck is using a, a fire type attack against a water type anyway? Like, that has to be... That has to be a move you use if you're gonna switch into something and be weak to fire. Like, right, come on, Weevil. Don't hurt yourself. Good. Now, if you just immediately snap out of confusion, that would be amazing. Ooh, Horn Attack. That's not great. I'm gonna need you to snap out of confusion. Absorb back so damn it, Weevil! You're disgracing the good name of Weevil Underwood. There we go. Nice. Okay. Ooh, 379 from that. And the last one's a magic harp, of course it is. I'll just keep Weevil in here. Weevil can take care of this. Almost. It should get the last little bit of health back from this Absorb, hopefully. Almost all the way back to full health. A little annoying you couldn't get that one point back, but there we go. Get lots of money from these guys, though. That's good. Buy some stuff once I get to Eterna, which I believe is right here. Yes! History Living. And Team Galactic is here. Great. Hey, you! Yeah, you, trainer! Er, it's okay. Never mind. You look tough. I will take... Um, I'll just let you carry on your... I'll just let you keep your Pokemon. Carry on! You're damn right. Better back the fuck up, fool. If I get to hear the daytime Pokemon Center theme, too, that's a good thing about recording this when the sun is actually up. Alright, let's have a look about Eterna City. If I can find where the door is. What the fuck? What's going on here? Underground man's house, going down for adventure. Oh, what are you doing first, though? Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so sticking rich that we can have one built instantly. Great. All right, let's look around the turn of the city a little bit more. Can I get a bike? Where's the bike, dude? Mantra's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding up. Oh, of course I have to frickin' rescue the the bike guy. Of course I do. 
Cause why wouldn't I? It turned the city's not anything like it was before, back in the day. What was it like back in the day? Ooh, the neighbors in the internal condominiums. That's good to know. I actually need to sell some stuff first. Hang the hell on! Got X special defense. And let's see. Da, 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 da. I don't have a Stardust. Here we go. I got a Stardust I can sell for a grand. Nice. Still can't buy Great Balls yet. Oh well. Um. Let's buy. Let's buy some Super Potions. I feel like I can. Um. Let's get five Supers. And then let's get 10 potions. Let's get 6 Pokeballs. And the rest of this I'll spend on antidotes. Alright. Yeah, no, actually wasn't a blast at all, lady. It was kind of boring and there was nothing going on down there. Okay, there's clearly something I have to come back here for later. Would we'll just give me an empty house with no items in it? Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, I'm Gordania. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was Liam. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on the way, so that made me antsy. In my gym, no one gets about with the gym leader, me, until the end. The gym, uh, the challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. That I shan't. Wait, how the hell do I get back there? Wait, am I gonna have to... Shh, oh, I was about to say, am I gonna have to go through the gym? Oh, I found a free super potion, nice. Now, I'm trying to see if I can find where the, um, the, uh, so-called Team Galactic building is. Oh, thud. Hey, Daniel! You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there! Oh, there's a Pokemon statue? Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, is that the Palkia? What the? So... This is Eternus Pokemon statue, shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Reverend and Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Revered, I should say. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, stand aside. Now he's very intimidating and mysterious, but at least he's polite. Oh hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me! An easy way to become a great trainer! Yeah, that! Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit! Avoid enemy attacks for sure! You do that, you'll never lose! You be- uh, 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 I skipped it too fast. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue! See you around! And off he goes. Seems to have been a descriptive plate, but it appears to have been- uh, It was torn off. Oh, fun. Now, let's see, um... Gee, I wonder who took the plaque off of the statue? Yeah, I do want to know what it said. The first inscription went like this, sort of. Creation of da giver of time. In laughter, there's tears, and likewise, the same time flows, the blessing of Di- Okay. Birth of the- Okay, so basically, it's telling me about- I'm sure I'll probably get the plaque back, but it's basically- It's basically talking about Dialga and Palkia, and a third Pokemon that I definitely don't know, or anything about it. <laughs> Alright, let me just very quickly check. Now, let's see. 
I was just checking to make sure things were still recording, obviously. Da 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 da. Oh, who's this now? And why do I keep getting stopped in front of this particular building? Oh, that device you have! Is that a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Oh, hello, Daniel. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eternus City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. Ooh, HM01. Probably for cut, which I can't use without the Eterna badge. Yep. Field move cut. Gotta get the Eterna badge. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. Alright, I will do that. I know, what the fuck is this building? Oh. It's a Team Galactic building. Okay. Okay, so... I don't know why I thought they need to check my party just then. Alright, uh, this did end up kind of being a filler episode, so I apologize for that. But, um, you know, we had to get that little bit of stuff out of the way because next time, we are going to challenge the Eterna City Pokemon Gym. So, thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for the next one. Be sure to answer the comment question down below. Give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more in the future. But until then, take care, everyone, and I'll catch you later. Super Nerd Daniel, out!